it's Barbara from Miller's Forest again. This month we're going to show you how to brighten your home up for Easter and we're going to make a lovely Easter tree. This is great fun to do with the children. All you need is some oasis that's been soaking for about 10 minutes, some of the pins, some contorted willow, two aspidestra leaves, a bunch of tulips and some eggs which you can get, they're just normal little plastic eggs. Right, first I'm going to start with what I call a tank vase or any vase that you've got in the home. Get your oasis and then wrap the aspidestra around the oasis. This is just to disguise the oasis in the glass vase because there's nothing worse than unsightly oasis showing. And then just wrap another one around. Like so. And then just pin it with the pins. One side. Perhaps put a couple of those in just to make it quite secure. Then we're going to wedge it into the vase to make it quite secure. Just pop that down. And that's actually secure into the bars. Now we're going to get the consorted willow. I'm going to pop, push it straight into the oasis. It'll push it quite a way down and then it makes it quite secure. And all the time just keep turning it around so it's nice and even in the bars. Take your eye out with it, especially if you've got contact lenses, obviously they might end on the end of the twigs. So again, pushing quite securely in and turn it round so it's nice and even all the way around. And even use the very fine bits as well, it's really good. This is great to do with the children, the children love making these trees. And, um, in Holland and in Austria when we were away skiing last year, it was around the Easter time and every window has these trees in to celebrate Easter, very much so in uh, Austria and Germany and Holland. So that's the vase with the twigs, complete with all the twigs. Now I'm going to add the tulips. All I've got is one bunch of five tulips. I'm going to push these around the base of the twigs. Making sure that you really push them in well into the oasis. They need to be in a good two inches so that they can take the water off. The tulips do take a lot of water. And what I'm going to do is put, arrange them at different heights so it looks as if they're really natural growing. I love the natural look of tulips, especially when they start to grow, they, t they grow in the water and tend to hang over. And that's when they look at the best. All the time I'm pushing them well in. I'm just turning the bars around so you get a nice even look all the way around. So you can either put this in a window sill or you can put them in the centre of a table. And now I'm just going to top the bars up with water because tulips really do drink a lot of water. You can put all sorts of things in here. You don't have to have tulips. It's just I like tulips. You could put um, daffodils in. You could put anemones in. Anything springy looking. So that's the bars with the tulips in. Now all we're going to do is we're going to hang the little eggs all the way onto the branches. They're very light these so they just do hang quite nicely. And it really will brighten your home up for Easter. And pop some in the top of here. Just keep turning it around and put them at different lengths. 
I like them quite randomly. So, and you can put as many or as little as you want on. So. Never hang just where you want them hanging though. <laughs> no matter how much you try. Trying to just rearrange the colours evenly as well around. Nice thing about the consorted willow at this time of the year, it's quite soft and uh, you can bend it a little bit. So you can go on forever. That's that's the basically the idea, which is lovely to have in your window over the Easter period or in the centre of a table. And the children love to make this design. So I hope you have a lovely Easter. So signing off for this month.